you stand? Good morning, everyone, and we welcome you to our celebration of this Mass on this Monday of the third week of Easter. Today's Mass intentions are being offered for the repose of the souls of Pietro Davi, William McGee, Fred Hernandez, and for Raul, Father Raul Galbunton. Entrance Antiphon. The Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the, the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, and the scribes, accosted him, seized, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. 
Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not, going, had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To believe in the one God sent, we do the work of God. God works in many ways through his creation, through history. And through the lives of his people, God is active in our midst. And he uses you and me as his instruments to bring his presence, the Christ, in us to others. Jesus assures the crowd who followed him looking for food that the work of God is that you believe in the one he sent. Our faith is a gift from God in which we are called to cooperate, not an accomplishment about which we can boast. And so today is an opportunity for us to allow the graces that we receive from this sacrament as we again recognize the presence of the Lord as he spoke to you through the proclaimed words of God, and that when you receive the Eucharist, when we receive the Eucharist, that God truly is the one who comes into our hearts and to our lives. What a way that we can bring the very presence of the one God sent to others in humility. Please stand. With renewed Easter faith, we turn to God who desires what is best for all people and bring him our prayers. For the church, may the Holy Spirit guide us in loving one another as God loves us, we pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, especially here in our country, may God guide them in just and prudential decision-making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For safety and protection against terrorism and violence, and also protection from the harm of this coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered together, may the Lord continue to help us grow in faith and to, and to conform our lives to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially those whom we remember this time, for those who are infected with coronavirus, for members of our community who are anticipating surgeries this week, that they may receive healing and strength from our loving God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially those we remember this time, those who have died recently, and for the repose of the souls of Pietro Davi, William McGee, Fred Hernandez, and Father Raul Gadbunton. May they soon be received into God's eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own intentions that we now pray in silence. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we trust in your love for all of your children on earth. Hear our prayers, which we offer in the name of Jesus, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. 
He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Pietro, William, Fred, and Ra Father Raul, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Peter Claver, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. As I ask you to share a sign of peace, just say, Peace with your, nod your head, and not yet. Okay, then, so there's the chains in the protocol. Now you can offer sign of peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Grant happy, blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us in the live streaming, please sit down. We now say or pray the act of spiritual communion. It's also posted on your screen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you once again for being here share the good news that we're open already for morning masses and those of you joining us in live streaming certainly you're welcome to join us in person if you can make it as i said earlier now if you can go to the shopping center or a restaurant or go to costco certainly this is also a safest place that you can come and celebrate god's gift to you Thanks to our tech team once again for bringing this mass to our domestic homes. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.